Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Yinka, and um, today I'm going to be teaching you, um, showing you how to clear error 500. You know, HTTP error 500, and this happens when um, you're using WordPress and um, plugins are messing up you know it makes your website unreachable so in my case and in this case I'm using one of my websites the website I used for um, web hosting and domain registration um, uh, I mean I just logged onto the website and I discovered that um, this is going down which means the website is offline so if anybody searches for web hosting a cheap web hosting in Nigeria and then they find me on the first page and then they click this is what they will see which is not good for my business and that's not all the second thing is that it's not good for search engine if SEO crawls a website and then they find discover that this error is going down they may yank your website off the first page and like Neil Patel always says you can hide a dead body on the second page <laughs> funny enough so you need to quickly fix this so I want to believe that the reason why you're watching this video is because you have that kind of challenge right now and I'm going to walk you through and like I mentioned the problem what causes this majority of time is because of one plugin that's either um, as bug or it's, it's due for updates or there's something wrong with the plugin or it's not just compatible anymore with the WordPress um, 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 application and then so um, how do you fix this do you delete all the plugins that you have do you disable all the plugins uh, one by one do you delete all of the plugins at uh, one uh, at once I know those are the questions that you may be asking right now but do not worry I'm going to walk you through so how we're, how we're going to do this is by going into our cPanel and then from our cPanel you will go to file manager and then from our file manager we'll be able to access all our website files and then we'll go specifically to error log. Error log is where we'll know what plugin exactly is causing this problem. It will be highlighted there and then we can then now go and take the next action which is to disable it. So I'm going to walk you through all of that, so where to find the error log, how to know which plugin it is giving a problem in the error logs, and then how to deactivate the plugin. Afterwards, we'll now see if it actually fixes the problem or not. So let's dive right in. Um, go. No, so this is my cPanel. I already logged in. So for you, if you um, if you've not accessed cPanel before. To access cPanel, you need to go to your website.com forward slash cPanel. Um, I mean, your website.com, my KSP web hosting forward slash cPanel. You know, so, and then you enter. So, in, I, I open it already. So, once you open it, it will bring you here. And how do you get your cPanel details? Your cPanel details comes when you buy a new hosting package. Take, for instance, if you go to pwebhosting.com, and then you purchase a web hosting uh, a package you would automatically get your username and password and domain um, DNS records and um, you get your cPanel details your file uh, FTP details and then the cPanel details so that's why you use your username and password that's why you use to log into the cPanel so I haven't logged into the cPanel let's go straight into our file manager remember I mentioned file manager now, it's from there we'll be able to access all the web website files and then we'll go down to error we'll try to look at error log okay this is it now the error log has 3.11 MB okay so let's open it and see what is causing the problem okay from the look of things this might take a longer time for us to see so I would advise that you just download it. So let's close it for now. 
and you just download the error log and then check it offline so while it's been downloaded the thing is this is not this website being down does not affect every other website hosted on this platform the reason is because other website hosted on the platform are opening well see this is one of it the O'Briders um, there is this that I also worked on for a client, Ninja Music Beats, and there is also Noble Lad. I'm even updating that right now. It's in marketing, and so I hosted it, and I'm also maintaining the website for them. So in case you want to be, you want to join the league, you can just log on to pwhosting.com and then purchase a web hosting package, and then we can do the website for you as well, and. Maintain, maintain it for you. See, it loads very fast. Okay, so let's go straight back to our C part. Uh, error log has been downloaded, so I'm going to open it right now, so we can see what's actually going, what's, what's causing the problem for the website. So you scroll down, and then here it is. It's a plugin, Twitter Bootstrap Shop Code Ultimate Master. Uh, that's a plugin causing the problem. That's a plugin causing the problem. So, what do we do next? We we'll go to our WP content and then to our plugins to locate the plugin. It's a Twitter bootstrap. This is it. Yeah, we found you. We got you. So, we're going to rename it. So, you're not going to delete it, just rename it to something else. Just rename it. So, once you rename it, automatically being disabled so like I mentioned you cannot don't disable everything so you can still minimize your risk your level of risk so then let's refresh and know if our attempt oh wait it's been fixed it's been deleted so we can visit our website and um, see that everything is working Fine, just fine, just fine. This is the back end of the website. Uh, good. Let's see, so the website is back on and running. So, like I mentioned, it's a web hosting platform, and the website is back. So that's that's exactly how to fix error 500, which is error 500 on your website and WordPress. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, kindly give us a thumbs up. If you can subscribe so that when next we upload a new WordPress uh, website fixes, error fixes, you can be notified. And if you find it also helpful and you think your friend might need it, please kindly share. If you have any question whatsoever, please drop your question in the comment section below. If there's particular WordPress fixes or website fixes that you want us to talk about, we'll share, work on it, and show you, show you step by step guide. Please drop the comment also in the question, um, to question um, comment section below. I would love to chat with you. I would love to know your response and feedback. Please subscribe and turn on your notification button. See you guys next time. Next week.